Good morning, it's Tuesday, November 6th. Today I'd like to answer a question I get all the time from students and from friends. How much do musicians practice? Practice? Practice. We t we're talking about practice. We're not talking about a gig, we're talking about practice? Uh... Well the answer is, of course, the same as the answer to every other question ever. It depends. Now the answer depends primarily on two things. What else the musician has going on, and what exactly you include in your definition of Practice. Are we still talking about practice? I really hope that's not a theme. My personal practice time varies greatly depending on what else I have going on and what exactly I have to prepare for. My most intense bout of practice came in college. Not only did I have lessons and ensembles to prepare for, but I was also trying to create and perform with non-university groups. Between all of these musical activities, I was probably practicing around six hours a day. I even started wearing a watch because the practice rooms on campus didn't have clocks in them, and I had to be in the practice room at every opportunity, which was often in between classes. Now, even though I technically have more free time, I actually practice less. I don't have as many things to prepare for on a day-to-day -day basis, and I don't have as many fundamentals to work on either. Obviously, if I have a show or an audition coming up, I tend to practice a little bit more, but as it stands now, I only practice about one to two hours a day just to keep my chops up. Now, I know a lot of other musicians work like this as well. Even people who are notorious for practicing, such as Joe Satriani, the guitarist who practiced 13 hours a day, or Thomas Lang, the drummer who practices 10 hours a day, admit that sometimes their practice falls to zero for months at a time based on what else is going on in their life. The other thing to consider, however, is what actually counts as practice. We're not talking about a show, we're talking about practice. I know practice is important. Can we stop that? If I'm hitting the pad while watching John Green play FIFA on the internet, is that practice? If I'm writing a song, is that practice? What if I'm writing a parody song? Dashing across the map, six workers in my crew. The seventh one is cute, and soon he'll be in route. What if I'm working out ideas with my friend Jason, or attending a rehearsal with the metronomes? I'm playing in all of these instances, but I wouldn't necessarily consider them all practice. I don't even think all the time I spend in the actual practice room should count as practice. I mean, take a look at this for example. It may look like I'm practicing here, but technically I'm not. I don't have the metronome on, I'm not recording myself, and I'm not working on anything in particular. I'm just kind of dorking around. Okay, I understand that I was technically recording myself, but that was just for the purposes of this video. Practicing actually looks a lot more like this. And to be honest, practicing kind of sucks. It's not really fun at all. It reminds me of a conversation I had with Graham Breedlove, former SNL trumpeter. I played a couple shows with him at the University of Dayton while I was a student there. During rehearsals, he talked a lot about practicing and said if you were really practicing, it shouldn't be easy or fun and you should probably sound like garbage. That's how you get things done. With that in mind, I probably practice way less than I even think. That's kind of depressing. So in short, there's no good answer to the question, how much do musicians practice? If you're a curious non-musician, I'd say that the average musician probably spends over 20 hours a week with his or her instrument. That's probably on the conservative side for professionals. If you're a musician and you have to ask the question, odds are you're probably just not practicing enough. Just out of curiosity, for those musicians who are watching, how much do you practice? Can you leave your answer in the comments below? I'm actually kind of curious. And now onto this week's things of note. We have a partial thing of note, at least for this show. On Thursday, I'll be working as a production assistant for the Jazz at the Library series. I won't be playing, but there'll be some awesome jazz, and best of all, it's free. So if you don't have anything to do on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, come to the Lexington Central Public Library and hear some great jazz. Okay, that's all I have for this week. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Box my robes and send them out to ruin some bronzies day.